Hello, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play uh, Final Fantasy VII. I want to give all of these a draw ability in case, or at least two of them draw ability in case uh, we end up fighting any monsters, because there are a couple of places we need to go this time. And while we're here, uh, we're going to want to change the abilities of this DF because it has some abilities that are going to be very helpful to us. Okay, this, wow, it tells you what it does there. That's going to be pretty helpful, and Mug is going to be pretty helpful for some side quests we're going to have to do soon. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to check to see if any of these others have uh, anything else they can do that's going to be helpful in the future. Alright, Doom is quite useful. I've forgotten exactly what it does, but it's quite similar to uh, Death. And we're also going to want to switch characters whilst we're here. Oh, right, um, no, we're going to need Renora, but it is possible to switch characters. Okay, I know we're here, but actually, um, before we go and do the things we need to do here, there's other stuff. We're going to go to Dulat, because we, well, I, I really need some more uh, healing magic here. I have to say, this is a very nice way to travel. Just having the game do all the work for me. Unfortunately, this thing is much faster at travelling, so... There might be some side quests involving finding specific cards that we could get. Um, in places like Dulat, but I'm, I'm not going to do that because I'm just not interested in doing those side quests. And, well, they take a while, some of them, so. But time for us to uh, go and rescue Renora. Now, you should keep in mind during the following sequence that uh, Winora is a danger to everyone because uh, she could be taken over by uh, Adele and Adele could eventually threaten everyone and kill them. So you'd have thought this place would be heavily guarded. You know, as every dad does that desert prison that we ended up in in that very long um, episode uh, at the start of disc two. So yeah, these these two guys have uh, let you out, but there must at least be uh, be more guards here somewhere, yeah. Okay, I, I suppose there are scientists, and that is a, a whip. Um, I, at least there's an alarm going on here, so uh, this this would be the ideal time, especially when they're frozen in place for some reason, for lots of guards to come out. Surely that's what's going to happen, and surely, you know, they have, uh, they have made sure that there's no way to get her out of there. Just to stress again that 
But this, this is a prison for holding someone who potentially threatens everyone in this land. And he's released her with by cutting one pipe. Yeah, it's cool. Nice as this is. Again, seriously, she is a threat to everyone. Okay, at least she understands that. You'll, you'll care when she kills you. Okay, at last, we have, uh, we have guards here. They're, they're being sensible. They're also... Uh, we've, we've, um, we got Zhao and Christus apparently deciding to suddenly pre freeze in price again. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm glad that, uh, that these guys are being so sensible by just letting us leave. That's, you know, God, you're not even trying, are you? <laughs> really, seriously, you're not trying. That, that's it, just, just watch this leave. What, why bother with the prison at all? If you release someone who could compress time in a way that would kill everybody, things tend to go bad. Look, look there's, there's a difference between being optimistic and being stupid. Okay, please consider taking some precautions and being realistic about this. So, I don't listen to school. This is the only, only sensible thing we can do now that we've eliminated the possibility of just leaving Nora where she is. What's is also a solution to this problem. Now, at this point, you really do need to switch characters. Because nothing useful is going to get done here unless you have Renora with you. Now, we'll need to go where that dog's going in a minute. But first, I want to... You don't technically have to find out what they say, but I might as well show it off. That's pretty much it, but uh, 
Angelo doesn't turn up otherwise, so it doesn't trigger this. Well, the long cutscene. We'll just have to sit and watch it. Well, that's sort of the attitude that um, Cypher had, and uh, I'm not sure that's very helpful. I also think now that you've escaped uh, I know, I'm going through the dialogue quite quickly. Uh, please feel free to pause it if you wish. We, we didn't not meet last time, it was a dream.
I'm not really sure what point of view telling me that was. Alright, we're gonna wanna go to the air station. Alright, this is this is an easier way to do it because it's gonna get us to where we need to go quicker. Now we need to go east. Or if there isn't an east here, I don't know. As long as we end up in the residential pass, it's fine. Oh yeah, you can, yeah, there are random encounters here now, but, uh, oh, okay, these things are new, I might not show off the entire battle, depends on how long it takes, but I might as well draw something for me. Uh, that's quite awkward though. Stop scroll from being able to do anything. You know what? Screw it. I've gotten enough, uh, enough stuff from that thing. Sometimes it looks like it's worth fighting enemy, and it simply isn't. I think the way we had to go up here was north anyway. I think it was east on the previous screen which brought me here, and then north up here, and then north again. Anyway, I'll get there eventually, but I think this might actually be where I need to go. So. episode was quite long. I suppose there isn't really necessarily any need for um, episodes to be a certain length. Waiting where? I seem to remember having some confusion about this before as well. President might actually be this way. Ah. This world in Chaos. So, so he's probably the guy who's at prison and we're not in it. Could have told us who you were.
It's a pretty, um, fair way life these three guys have had. Well, look, I might as well go through this. Absolutely, I regret seeing that scene. This isn't a Bunny Hill movie. Oh, TV series. I don't know if it is in any movies. Stupid affair. Huh? Unless someone comes along with a sword and uh, cuts one of the pipes. In oh, its case, the will be released. <laughs> it sure sees him and sees pretty weird looking.
You know, we could have just skipped that, but I did ask you how you became president. Not your entire life story. So we don't need to ask about uh, rain anymore, I don't think. Well, look, if I've missed something important, I apologize. Okay, I think that's enough for people's backstories and so on. Let's find out about the answer mission. Oh, for heck's sake. I'm, I'm sorry, I could be confused here. Are you saying that you're the one who is allowing Ultimissia to send her consciences back in the past, threatening us all? I don't know, I'd quite like to know why it's compressed time.
Oh, okay, good. So, so we're going to give the, the evil power that the evil Ultimissia has to Renora. What could possibly go wrong? I, I thought no one could survive in time compression other than Ultimissia, and this sounds like a very complicated plan to me. But Seriously, that sounded very convoluted. Uh, I suppose so. <laughs> As, as long as somebody makes it clear what each move is as a separate thing, then yeah, I've got a feeling if you ask questions, it's only going to be the questions we've already had answered, so... Um, I suppose it sounds marginally cool. I don't think it sounds better or worse than any other name. I'm still kind of fuzzy on whether or not any part of this makes sense. <laughs> yeah, friends are great and, and stuff. Can, can we get on with that? this now. This is probably being a long episode, what with all of these uh, cutscenes. So I'm going to end the episode there, I will see you next time.